Welcome to the Curiosity Corner. I'm Dr. Stephen Pop, and I'm here with Ben Knight, a member of the class of 2024, who is going to be telling us about some of the wonderful projects he's been working with with our Global Online Academy partnership. We're part of the Global Online Academy Consortium, uh, and we've been a member for the last two years. Tell us a little bit about your experience with Global Online Academy. How did you get involved and what benefits do you see from these GOA courses? I think there's a lot of benefits. So I got introduced to it by a friend who took it the, and she recommended this class specifically. But I think GOA is important overall because it allows us to do things we couldn't do at, at one school. You get kind of the top talent from, from everywhere. I think my teacher is from California and he worked in cybersecurity. Mm. So that was really interesting. That's great. So in addition to the great courses that you get here at Cooper and all the great connections and conversations, you can now amplify that and extend that to a global network of scholars and, and teachers. Yes, exactly. And two thirds of adults have already had account hacked. We were so proud of you that your Global Online Academy presentation and project was selected as one of the exemplars. What piqued your curiosity about the topic that you looked into and tell us about your presentation? Yes, um, so it all kind of started at a personal level. My grandparents, they always kind of struggled with spam calls and different scammers. And I figured that learning a little bit about cybersecurity would be good, good not only maybe for a potential job opportunity in the future, but just help my, my grandparents and make them more secure. Um, and especially my topic, I focus more on different laws that are being passed to kind of curb uh, or to kind of improve security overall on the internet. Last year, I was able to take computer science. And it was interesting, I'd never really taken a computer class before. I know some people had done it through middle school, but I had the opportunity to just start it in, in sophomore year. And it really, I wanted to figure out some real world applications to computer science and maybe go deeper, mm. um, especially into cybersecurity. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, and at Cooper, we really believe in the, the transformative power of curiosity. You answered a lot of questions in your presentation. What questions are you still thinking about uh, and it's going to be exploring going forward? I think what I want to explore is the balance between big companies and kind of monopolies, but also the need for smaller companies in, in the tech realm. I think as America is really big on kind of creating a competitive landscape for businesses um, and it's kind of always a trade-off. Do we want the, the ease of being able to sign in with everything on Google and just going Google all the way or being more secure and more competitive by allowing these smaller companies to mm. kind of make their own niches. Tell me about some of the classes that you're taking right now that perhaps you're seeing applications to the questions that you are asking and the answers that you're getting and how you're seeing that in not just computer science, but other courses. Um, well, I think GOA, they focus on a lot of just core competencies, mm -hmm. um, and that can be like engaging with other students, that could be just making, asking good questions. I think that was a lot of the Catalyst project was make, creating a beautiful question. Mm. Um, and that's helped me a lot with theses, especially in English class. Mm -hmm. Well, Ben, we are just so proud of you and thrilled for you, and we look forward to learning more about what you learn in your journey from curiosity to wisdom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.